stands for cardio, which is heart. P stands for pulmonary, which is lungs. And R stands for resuscitation. Essentially, it means to resuscitate or revive your heart and lungs, which are the two most important organs in the human body. Basically, the tissues and organs in our body need oxygen to function. Our lungs take in oxygen from the environment into our blood. The heart then pumps this oxygen-rich blood and circulates it to all the tissues and organs. This is how life is maintained. We perform CPR when the heart and or lungs stop working. This can happen in many situations. The most common example would be a heart attack, where the blood supply to the heart is suddenly blocked and the heart muscle is not able to pump. If this involves a large area of the heart, it may cause the heart to stop. Other conditions that may cause the heart and lungs to stop working include drowning, severe asthma, severe trauma to the chest or massive blood loss, electrocution and so on. Most definitely, in reviving a collapsed patient, what is important is how early CPR is started. This will give the best chance of survival to the patient. The longer the delay, the poorer the chances of survival. Let me share with you a personal story. I was at a pool party when an 8-year-old boy drowned. I performed CPR immediately and he started breathing after 2 minutes of CPR. He was then taken to the hospital by ambulance and survived the incident. Imagine what would have happened if no one there knew CPR. Anyone can learn CPR with the right training. It is easy to learn and can be learned in one day. We have a CPR program in IJN, which runs twice a week. CPR has no age limitations. However, the techniques will vary to suit the situation so as not to cause more harm to the patient. Basically, unless you have a contagious disease, such as TB, or have a long-term disease that restricts you physically, everyone can perform CPR. I think most of you are familiar with the act of giving breaths and doing chest compressions in CPR. However, in the 2010 American Heart Association guidelines, it is sufficient to do chest compressions only. In these days of infectious diseases being on the rise, people are less willing to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. The logic behind chest compression only CPR is that for a patient who had just collapsed, it is assumed that the lungs still has adequate oxygen and it is a matter of delivering this oxygen to the tissues by doing early chest compressions. Yes, in severe cases, for example a severe heart attack, a person may not respond. Do not panic. When you learn CPR, you are advised to call your help early and continue doing CPR until help arrives. The general number to call is 999. When you call 999, the operator will direct you to the ambulance services where a medical personnel will assist over the phone what steps are to be taken while the ambulance is being dispatched. When the ambulance arrives, the medical personnel will take over. They may use a defibrillator to revive the patient. A defibrillator is a small machine that is able to deliver electrical shocks to the heart when the patient has collapsed because the heart is out of rhythm. In public places such as shopping malls and airports, automated external defibrillators or AEDs are placed to be used when a person collapses. When the pads are put on the patient's chest and connected to the AED, it will detect the heart rhythm that requires a shock to be delivered and will give simple instructions for the user. Early detection of such heart rhythms and early delivery of a shock when required are essential to the survival of the patient. The first step is recognition. When a person is choking, he will automatically try to push the object out from his air passage by coughing. They are usually unable to speak at this point and may hold their throat with both hands as a response. At this time, the best thing to do is to encourage them to cough. If they are unable to cough out the object, the next thing to do is a Heimlich maneuver, 
where we can stand behind the person and using our fists, try to push out the object using a forceful inward and upward motion just below the ribcage at the centre of the lower chest. Our current package is at 350 ringgit plus GST. However, we can tailor a package that is suitable to your needs. It is a one-day course and you are welcome to contact our executive at the CPR faculty in IGN at 03-2617-8665 I repeat, 03-2617-8665 for further details. You can also email us at cpr at ign.com.my that's cpr at ign.com.my for inquiries or visit our website at www.ign.com.my That's www.ign.com.my